Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jay, and I'm 55 years seasoned and currently reconstructing my life. Follow along to see how I navigate this transition. Happy Saturday. I literally woke up this morning and started pulling these out because the braid pattern I did had my head hurting so hard. So I had to pull them out. We're going to start all over. Checking out this video. 20 minute crochet. Easy gonna follow her little method because I've been doing way too many braids. I'm gonna do the seven braids going back and some braids in the front because yeah my head has been pounding since I did my hair the other day so literally woke up it's like eight in the morning I just couldn't stand it anymore so yeah. All right so I'm very proud of myself. I got the latest video up a day early well we're starting our new schedule this coming week but anyway i got it up i also spent some time like customizing my channel um and trying to figure out why when my video looks so amazing um on my phone before i upload it it looks so horrible so i think i've figured that out um and so i've gotten those settings uh together i put up a new banner uh, a new photo and just uh just some few enhancements um just to the youtube um page and yeah so i'm excited about that and today i almost forgot that i have a baby shower to go to uh I f well i did forget because i didn't get a gift yet so i gotta leave here in a little bit go get a gift and head to the shower but um i just made like a really simple uh banner for the page and just put up one of my self portraits like i took this picture of myself forever ago but it kind of uh just reminds me of the girl i want to be so i think we talked about dream girl in a previous um vlog and yeah just that photo just reminds me of that girl that i want to be for myself um so i did that i got a bunch of that stuff done and customization i also did something that um i have been meaning to do on my YouTube I hadn't gotten around to um, so I just spent some time doing that today and it's to add one of these um, little um, what do you call them uh, let me turn this volume down because I know I'm about to get loud on the screen well not too loud that's another thing too I know that I need to uh, get my microphone out of storage my little clip on microphone um, that I also got from TikTok. I think I'll link that in my TikTok. But I added this little end screen here where you can support me on uh, buy me a coffee if you want. And then it just you know highlights a couple of videos you can go check out in case you missed them. So I got that little end screen thing done. Just some like a little maintenance on the YouTube. So I'm happy about that. Um, hopefully by the time you watch this, you've seen that video. Um, because I'm happy with where the videos are headed. <laughs> But like I said, I need to go get that microphone out of my storage, uh, my clip-on microphone, and yeah. So, just got that done. Need to get up from here. Like I said, go get a gift for the baby shower. Head to the baby shower. Happy Saturday. Oh, and update regarding the crochet braids. I did redo them. Definitely going to only do the seven braids going back um, from here on out because my head was hurting so bad the past couple of days because I just put in way too many braids and yeah it was just too much too much weight on the top of my head so I'm very very happy uh with the way my head feels now <laughs> uh, and just that way I've I uh for the past I don't know how many years I just normally wear like my curly wigs um but it's been so hot that's the reason why I decided to start doing the crochet braids. I think I'm going to try another style of braid. Um, I will insert it here uh, for the winter time uh, just to mix it up a little bit because I like to do that. Uh, but yeah, my head feels so much better. I mean, my head literally have been hurting for the last two, three days since I had put in a new install, but much better right now. So I've made it to Target. It is hella hot outside. Oh, look at all this cute Halloween stuff. <laughs> so cute. I'm totally going to get sidetracked about what I came here for. But I'm just going to look at it really quickly. 
figured I might as well share it with you guys. So much cute stuff. <laughs> Very cute. Okay, but it's a little later than I want it to be, so I gotta go and get what I came here for. It's Monday evening. I haven't been in Party City in forever. I'm not going there today, but I used to come to this Party City all the time when I lived on this side of town. Um, but I gotta go to FedEx. So I decided to choose this one so it would bring me somewhere I hadn't been for a while. But, uh, beautiful day today it's like so crisp and cool i wish you guys could see the sun over there let me see if i can zoom in let's see that sunset is spectacular i don't know if the screen is doing it justice but it's beautiful but yeah i ordered something <laughs> somehow i ordered the wrong size but what mark is making it pretty easy like i just have to put in for um, an exchange. Sorry, my camera's moving all over. Um, and then just drop the package off here. So well, that's what I'm doing. Theater so much it always just makes me happy <laughs> but anyway super super great show highly recommend um, a lot of things I didn't know about the temptations uh, so now we go home to Google <laughs> to get even more detail is it me or is one of these just 
so insanely overpriced. I was in there looking at a couple of things like not for you know, uh, body care, health care kind of things. And I'm checking Target while, while I'm looking at the prices on the shelves there. And Target beats them every single time. Like even like say the mouthwash, four dollar difference. Like, I'm confused. What's going on at Walmart? Walgreens. I need to get the get it together because the prices are totally whack. Anyway, beautiful day here in Chicago. Happy hot day. This is like, um, uh, I'll put the name of it on a video because I got two different slices. I got this one, looks yummy. And, oh, yeah. I think this is the deep dish, this one here. Looks pretty deep dish-ish. <laughs> um, pretty decent size, not bad, I guess, for $6 each, so. But I'm so hungry and I gotta head out real soon, so. All oh, right, I grabbed my new little tripod just so I could give you guys a better look at this pizza. And do a little taste test. I probably shouldn't be trying to use a butter knife, but I am. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, you see that? My thing fell off my phone. I gotta fix that. It's, I don't know why it came off. It's that little thing that covers the camera. But, all right, how about a little taste test? I'm so hot, I need to turn on my little neck fan. But, um, okay. Hopefully we can see me. <laughs> but, um, It's a little spicy. Good seasonings. Um, the crust, which I'll have to look up what it's made from, is a little, a little doughy. Um, not bad though. But um, you see, it looks like um. I hope you guys can see that. Like maybe it's like some kind of meal or something. I'll have to look up the ingredients. I didn't look. And as you can see, I'm sweating. <laughs> but. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not bad, not bad. A little spicy, a little spicy. Uh, but this one. Like I said, it's a really nice slice for the price. Um, they were $6 each. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm glad that I'm enjoying them both because it's been a long time since we've been to Kitchen 17. We actually hadn't been in probably like 2019. And we didn't have the best experience the last time we were there. Um, so I was a little hesitant. But like I said, it's so hard to find vegan pizza in this city. Um, so that's why I gave it a chance. Mm -hmm. It's good. Happy Friday. Just remembering to do a little recording. Came over here to pick up an Amazon package, so I figured stop in here and see if they got anything. But I always forget Mariano's doesn't have much when it comes to like ready-made 
vegan. Not normally. When they first opened, they did. Uh, but now, uh, not currently. So, yeah. Anyway, I am headed to meet with um, my friend Courtney from the book joint. They own a bookstore in the uh, container mall where I used to have my shop. So, going to meet her. Definitely a windy day out here today. Um, it feels good, <laughs> but I'm supposed to be live streaming and live streaming and when don't really mesh. So we'll see if that actually happens. I'm trying to see if there's an exit over here. I'm trying to get out of this little strip mall. I think there's an exit over here. Hope so. Uh, but yeah, feels good, but like I said, doesn't really mesh well with live streaming. Pardon me, why don't you come over here? I need to ask you something quickly, my dear. Why don't you always say something? is next. Doors open on the right and 43rd. Shop. Oh, and this year they got the bike shop open. It was not open the whole time I had my shop there, but now they've got a new business there for the bike shop, so that's cool. But yeah, this is Boxville. Okay. 
know what I do need? I do need some lotion. This is a city target, so. It's not a standalone. Okay, much better prices. Um, I was at, I think I in this vlog I talked about being at Wal Walgreens and the prices being so ridiculous. These prices are much better. Cute. I definitely need me a new fanny pack. This one's fabric. It's cute, but I prefer like a faux leather. It just usually stands up better to wear. Getting ready to head out. Um, of course, I had to put on my fave lip oil. I love that it has like this really nice tint to it. Um, it's really hydrating. I've used it forever. I'll link it. Uh, but you'll see me wearing it a lot because it's my fave. Also, just picked up this really great coat. Um, it was like 30 ish dollars, uh, but it's a really great layer. And of course, I'm wearing my snakeskin faves because i absolutely love them um i used to have these in black those are the ones i left at the beach i think i told that story on a previous vlog uh, but so i picked them up in this print i might get them in red also they've got like several colors um i will link those as well but they're so comfy i literally wear them everywhere but here's another look at the coat it's absolutely amazing um, I love that it's a really nice weight. It also has these um, strings that you can cinch it in the middle um, because I like to have a more fitted vibe, but if you need more room, you can let it out. So I love that, but yeah, really nice addition for fall. Standing here waiting for the bus and these birds, I don't know what they're discussing, but it <laughs> seems intense. So I made it downtown. I am going to the movies. I have the AMC membership, so you can you can technically go to three movies a week. I don't usually do that, but at least try to get in a couple few a month <laughs> um and some days it's just something i want to do for myself i have to keep reminding myself that yeah you know you're supposed to be working you know uh to through this transition um but i also am a big believer in having joy in the midst of the turmoil quote unquote um so i like to do things that i can for myself i mean it's 25 dollars a month like i said you can see three movies a week i don't see three movies a week but i'm definitely going to give my thing myself things that bring me a bit of joy because i think it's necessary like even if your life isn't in transition i think it's really important that we give ourselves joy you know, cause life be life in, <laughs> in all sorts of ways. I'm here at Daily Plaza. Here's the little fountain. They actually changed the colors of it. Like during the DNC, it was blue. During Halloween, it will be orange. Uh, and then, you know, they I believe they do also other colors for like Christmas and stuff. But here is the Picasso. And I'm going to Block 37. I'm going to AMC. Uh, yeah. So. Not sunny today, but I'm loving the cool breeze. Fall is my jam. I know I've probably said it numerous times. <laughs> and I'll probably say it numerous more times. But I just absolutely love it. The cool breeze. Just. It's another one of those things that just brings me joy. I kind of like this Picasso. Hello, baby. Hello, hello. 
Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on, Mama Baby? <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hello, Mama's baby. How are you? How's Mama's Bowie? Huh? Hi. Come here. Come here. Where are you going? Come, 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 come. How are you? Huh? <laughs> Hi, baby. Oh, no pee pee. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You don't have to pee pee. Yeah? Mom, it's Mama. It's okay. You don't have to. I know you're excited. It's okay. Hey guys, um, lots been going on this week, huh? Um, welcome back. Uh, if you made it this far, appreciate it. Uh, as you can tell from the previous clip, uh, I arrived uh, at Joe's and my dog was very excited, <laughs> very surprised and very excited. I think he was probably asleep. Um, so that made him even more surprised. And I don't normally come through the front door. I came through the front door. I normally normally come through the back door. Um, but I don't have a key to the back door anymore because there's only one. So Bub has that key since, you know, I'm no longer staying here. Uh, well, I am staying here tonight um, since I'm here. Uh, but, you know, he... One thing about my dog, he, he definitely has a bit of anxiety. So we're hoping to get him some training and kind of helped him to work through that. Uh, but I wasn't upset that he, you know, had a little twinkle. You know, I just soothed him a little bit. I understand, you know, him being, you know, a bit excited. <laughs> but yeah, so like I said, a lot is going on, you know, throughout the week. Um, felt pretty productive just in life in general, like getting things done. Um, and as you saw, um, I, had a couple of events. Um, truly grateful for my uh, Broadway and Chicago family because they are so generous to me and they uh, always give me these experiences. Um, kind of liking this light, you know. I don't have any lights on around me, but I'm using my new tripod with the little lights, and I'm only actually only using one of them because here's the other one. I didn't even plug it in, um, but the lights are pretty cool, Ooh, as you can see. It has like these different intensities. I don't even have it on the highest intensity, but the one that's plugged up. But digging that. Uh, ooh, that's kind of nice. Um, so I'm appreciating um, this tripod even more, you know, just for the versatility of it. I haven't had a good tripod in a minute. Not that I was really like doing a lot, but even when I was at the house, like during 2020, when I was trying to like still be a little consistent and recording content for my IG and for the blog, uh, it was a struggle at times. Um, so I'm grateful that I can just take this little tripod with me and I have these little lights, you know, so I'm really happy about that. I actually have this light on the more kind of muted setting. Let's see. Yeah, that's one. It's a little bit. Oh, that's a different color. So it has like all these different colors. Okay, that one's a little brighter so you can see me a little more. I love that. I love that. I love that. Uh, like I said, I haven't had one, a really good one that's, you know, really simple and easy. It makes my life easier in a long time. So I'm appreciating that. Um, but anyway, like I said, you saw I had like events and other things going on. Um, but let's get into like where we are as far as like the real serious stuff. Um, still working on the stream of income. I have, I believe I showed that I've been working on getting my Amazon storefront up. I've also been working on refreshing my uh, Like to Know It platform, uh, adding more things to my TikTok showcase, my TikTok shop. And uh, I've actually already had a sale. That's exciting. I'm um, linking the showcase, I'm linking all these things here uh, so you can check them out. But there's some really cool items, including this tripod with the lights. Uh, on my TikTok shop. Um, what else, what else? Ooh, uh, yeah, and you know, really great brands are on TikTok shop nowadays. Uh, if you follow me for any amount of time, uh, especially on IG and watch my stories, you know I'm big on hydration and moisturization. And one of my favorite brands is The Ordinary from Desium. And so The Ordinary's on TikTok. 
there's so many brands like legit brands it's not just you know a lot of people are like oh it's all this stuff from china it's some um, of course of course but i mean most of us have a lot of stuff from china in our lives right uh but big brands big brands are coming to tiktok shop so and good brands right i love the ordinary um so i'm going to be putting some of those products on there as well i think i already linked them there like some of my faves i've linked there already on my tiktok showcase um so i'm excited about that and i'm gonna start doing lives like i already do my live stream on tiktok where i'm outside uh but i'm transitioning to like i said a little bit more lifestyle on my city walking girl platform so i'm going to be doing like a live little shopping um once i get the right product mix that i want there same thing for amazon live i'm going to start that as well i'm excited uh it'll be interesting thankfully amazon has like a little uh practice space where you can practice your uh, amazon live like i watch a couple of girls who do the lives uh but they've been doing it for a minute so they got like their little vibe and spiel down uh so uh i wouldn't say i'm nervous but you know you just don't really know how people will respond you know and if they'll vibe off your vibe uh but doing it anyway right so those things i'm working on the like to know the amazon uh the page and the live the tiktok page on uh, the showcase and the lives and of course reselling i um I have to get more product up though that's the only thing about my uh, resale platforms i did add depop um but i gotta get more of the product added there you guys i'm so hot sorry Whew, a girl be needing her fan this little fan is a lifesaver it is a lifesaver because um menopause be pausing girl be pausing a girl gets real hot um but yes yeah, so i added depop because i never have actually even been on the platform ever so I recently added that, so I just gotta like start um, cross-listing there, uh, cross-listing more on eBay and Macari, because I mean, flat, Poshmark has always just been like my main platform, uh, so that's just kind of like what I use. And I've been using Flip. Only thing about Flip that is a little annoying is that it reminds me of the platform that I used to be on, which was Posture VA. Uh, you have to like keep your computer on in order for it to work. You know, keep it on and, and open. Uh, I can't like go into sleep mode or anything for it to work. Um, so that's definitely one slight downside of Flip. I mean, I made it work when I had Posture VA, um, but when you've had auto Posture and you don't have to do that, you kind of realize that why there's a huge price discrepancy because if I wanted all of the things that Flip does on the platform for auto Posture, it's like $65, whereas on Flip, it's $9. Like I can do all my cross listing on Flip um, for and all that for $9, but I have to keep my uh, laptop on. And the thing about the laptop that I'm using is it's bubs and it's old and uh, sometimes they don't wanna stay on. So <laughs> I'm not getting the auto features um, benefit as much because sometimes the computer shuts down so i am debating and i know i'm actually going to get another laptop because i need it you know even when i was working on my site the computer kept locking up uh it was just it, it made everything just like 10 times longer so uh i'm going to like give me a little cheapy laptop i've given myself like a 400 dollars 500 dollars max budget and I'm gonna do that because it's required, no matter what I'm doing. You know, even if I get a remote job, if I, you know, find one, cause I'm still slightly looking for a remote job, but you know, part-time. Um, but in the interim, of course, I am working to get these streams up and rolling. So any support, like if you wanna shop these things, please use my links. I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, definitely need a new laptop though. Cause whew, working on my site, definitely took me like three four times the amount of time that it should have uh and it kept crashing and it, it's just it's it's a lot like i'm grateful that she let me take her laptop but the sucker's old <laughs> it's a creep and it's a creep and it's a creep and it's ready to retire um yeah so let's see what else oh i have started rereading um 
the a book that I bought in 2015. It was so funny because I, I know I bought it in 2015 because I went into my Audible because uh, I wanted to revisit it. I love revisiting books that I found of value. So I went into my Audible to reread it and it was gone. <laughs> so I was like, doo -doo 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 -doo. Audible customer service, bought this in 2015. It's not in my library and they were great. Took five minutes, they were like, oh, let's put it back. And so they even back. So just a little thingy thingy about Audible. Keep up, keep keep up with your purchases, because I never realized that they would that could happen. Uh, but they put it back in there. But it's called The Miracle Morning. It's by Hal Elrod. And like I said, I purchased it in 2015, and I found it of so much value. So in this transitional period, of course, I'm reaching for all the things, you know, all the tools that I have at my disposal um, to make my life better. So I have started re-listening to it. Um, and it's just a great, great book, you know, about setting up uh, rituals for yourself. Um, so I'm really excited to get back to my rituals, in particular, um, meditation. I used to meditate regularly and I haven't done that. So I'm excited to get back to that. Um, what else? What else? Yeah, the rituals, I think is the biggest, the one of the biggest new things that I'm getting back into but I'm still listening to the to the book but I'm almost half through but I highly recommend it um, if you're looking to uh, for some self some good self-help you know I know some people think self-help is kind of like woohoo waha uh, but I've always found always found it of value and there are definitely certain books that I've highly recommend uh, maybe I'll list a couple of them in the uh, description but yeah guys um this is the latest update. Once again, we're gonna start dropping videos every Sunday. It's actually Saturday night uh, where I'm recording this because I kind of forgot that it was Saturday already. This week just kind of flew by. I had, you know, the two theater nights and everything. It just seemed to go by so fast. Um, so I am editing this video now uh, and I'm adding this section now because uh, I'm going to get up for tomorrow. And uh, for whatever reason, my phone isn't sinking to the cloud, so I have less space than I should. Uh, so hopefully that won't be too much of a drama. I, I might have to remove some some apps temporarily because I need to get this video up because we're getting on our schedule, right? We're holding ourselves accountable and doing the things that we say we're gonna do. But anyway, guys, if you made it this far, thanks so much for checking our girl out. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, feeling pretty good about my journey uh, and uh, hopefully uh, you find it of interest or value. Oh, and there were some questions in the middle, in the midst. Please answer them uh, in the comments if you would. I would love to know if any of this is resonating with you guys, if you guys have experienced this transitions in your life like this uh, or know someone who has and, you know, have suggestions or thoughts. would love to have your comments. But anyway, thank you guys and see you in the next one.